What up everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to get a custom keyboard for your iPhone or iPod Touch. This works with firmwares 4.1 and below, not sure about 4.2.1, so be aware of that. Anyways, here is a custom keyboard I have. There it is. It's not in HD for the iPhone 4 users, but it's better than nothing. Alright, so uh, the first step to uh, getting a custom keyboard is by going to Cydia. We're just going to cancel this out. So then the first, the second step is to, on Cydia, you want to go to more package settings. You want to scroll down until you see I axis here. Oh, my bad. So you want to go to I axis, and if you already not have it, you want to install this respiratory. Okay. Now step three. You want to go to search. You want to search for I axis. Oh, my bad. go to search scroll down slowly and there's gonna be two versions this one the one I have is for uh, firmware is uh, 4.0 or 4.1 and below but not 3.0 the 3.0 is this one if you want if you're on a firmware 3.0 and above but below uh, I um, 4.0 you might want to get this one all right, so it's either one of these, th one of these two, this one or that one. So if you're on firmware 4.0 and 4.1, you want to go ahead and install this. Okay. So once you've done that, it's gonna take very long. So keep in mind. So it's gonna tell you to reboot your uh, iPhone or your device, and it's gonna take you to the home screen. Okay. So now for step. For step four, you want to go to I axis. Bear in mind that it's gonna kick you out the first time. It's going to kick you out. It's, first, it's gonna give you a message, but it and it's gonna kick you out. So it's, this is what we're looking for here, right there. I axis. It's going to kick you out. So then, once a once you're back to the home screen, you want to go. You want to reboot your device. Turn it off. Make sure you turn off and reboot like this and you just slide it off. Okay? So now that now that it all reboots and you're back to the main screen, you want to go back to iAxis and you're going to you have one more message, but it's not going to kick you out. All right? So for step four, you want to have leave this on and then the rest off as you can see. Except for the last one right here. Basically, all the on-off switches except for the the very top one and the bottom one. Just the ones in the middle. Okay? Then you want to go and press that. And then you'll be taken back to the screen once again. Okay? So now what you want to do is you want to go back to Cydia. You will be um, um, needed to um, put a source. That source I will have in the description in the bottom of the video. So be sure to check that out if you want. That source is going to be used for adding more keyboards. Okay. So you want to add this one. The very top one. That's going to be in the bottom of uh, my description. Okay. Once you have that, you want to go to search. You want to search for I-axis again. Okay, so you want to go scroll down, all the way down, and you're going to find yourself right here.
right here. So we have iAccess Glossy 4.0. We find iAccess MacBook Air 4.0. iAccess MacBook Black 4.0. And the iAccess Storm 4.0. And those are the ones that I have right now. So they, there may be other keyboards. So for now these these all work the ones on 4.0 if you're on the 4.0 version on um, firmware version if not then there's other ones that are compatible with 3.0 so once you've selected your custom keyboard I've chosen the MacBook Air 4.0 you want to go ahead and go back uh, gotta take this off okay so once you've done that you want to go here let me just put this back to normal. Okay, so this is what you will usually have by default. So what you're going to notice is there's going to be a little globe right there. So what you want to do is hit that globe and boom. You're going to have your custom keyboard. That's how you just, that's how it works. Now you will get messages some like for example, you will get like pop-up messages. You just in Chinese so you're just gonna have to hit the globe again and you know just to go from keyboard to keyboard so that's it so if you have any problems with the keyboard please do not do not hesitate to leave a comment so, and uh, you know I would love to hear from your feedback on this so if you have any issue just please let me know and I'll try to help you as much as I can and that's it for this video this was how to get a custom keyboard on 4.1 and below. Not sure about the 4.2.1 though since I'm on version 4.1. And I will catch you guys later.